In this episode of uh, Guide to Cheap Living, we can show you other tips that can really help you save money. Like, say, if you're grocery shopping at places like Aldi's where, uh, where you have to pay for your uh, grocery bag, where you have to either bring your own grocery bags or you have to pay for or, or pay for some. If, say, you can get bags or, and, and say for reusable bags, I'm sure you could take, like, these reusable bags or these two uh, here. It only cost me a dollar at the uh, Dollar General. They're uh, all cheap anyway. That's all they cost anyway. I think a buck or two. Here, a uh, buck for two. But they're cheap anyway. You can get bags like these anyway for free. Like at various conventions, like automotive shows, whatever. Just to swipe a few ba extra bags. When I was low, uh, just swipe a few extra bags. Seriously, I'm not kidding you. And you'll have, and it'll be like for uh, less, so you can get reusable bags like these here, right in a way. Totally want to make themselves look more environmentally friendly. Yeah, sure. Try to make themselves look. This is like before, but they tried doing that before they had the accelerator issues. Sure, you can get bags of various sizes, reusable bags. Reasonable bags of various. You could take these when you go grocery shopping in a place like that and not have to spend money and not have to spend uh, money on grocery bags. I figure if you buy a reusable bag like uh, these, like I, like these bags I showed you earlier earlier in the video. You don't have to worry about, uh... Then they'll, then they'll think you're uh, not as uh, cheap or something, but does it matter? People always don't matter if you're buying, if you're buying stuff from their, from their locations and you bring your own grocery bags, you bring, they'll think you're environmentally friendly. Sure, it'd probably say it beats the shit out of uh, paying extra for grocery bags, like say, few bucks for reusable bags or whatever. I'm sure you can buy reusable bags anywhere you go, even supermarkets and sell them, even Walmart. <laughs> sure I bought, I bought a reusable bag from Walmart two years ago. And there's other uh, money saving tips too. Otherwise, you, like say getting stuff or stuff that can help you save money. Like if you're looking for uh, stuff for free, there's also uh, items that uh, you might throw out, like these uh, containers of uh, coffee. These uh, it's like all plastic. Over two pounds there. You can actually use these for other purposes. Like you can use it to, uh, like you can use these for storage. Figure, they're resealable. As a pain it has to do with one hand. Even with these empty, you could probably use these to, uh, st to store shit. I'm not kidding you. You can store shit with in these. There's a list of some items you can actually store in a, in a container. They can store pens, pencils. Just proving that uh, they fit in there, right? You can store packets of Kool Aid. There's other stuff you can store too, like you can store batteries. I tell you, I tell you, when it comes to uh, battery situations, if the battery on my camera gets discharged, is always that's why I was always playing B, the Energizer Bunny. Oh, and you can store ammunition too. You just gotta be very, you just gotta be very care, you just gotta be more careful when you store ammunition. Like you don't want, like don't put it near any major source of heat, especially open flames. I tell you, you put you put ammunition near open flame, you're you're asking for trouble. 
in various types, like like say Jesus, whatever. Various types of ammunition. These five boxes here, just uh, standard shot shells. The boxes I managed to get out. I managed to garbage pick at the local gun club. <laughs> yeah, right out of the garbage can. Yeah, sure. You can find you can find valuable stuff at local at your local gun clubs too. You can even use those uh, to store uh, store other items like sugar. If you want the container to be resealed, you can use it to store sugar, flour, and other items too. Even like if you're uh, hand loading ammunition or whatever, you can use it to store gunpowder, but, but still follow the same uh, safety precautions when storing that shit. And if you store that shit for ammunition, for uh. If you store gunpowder, make sure it's properly marked. <laughs> Seriously, you could probably being careless with firearms or firearm components. You could be, you'd be asking for shitload of trouble. Something else I forgot to. You could also store arms like uh, creamers, like your salt, like various salts and uh, and sugar, whatever, and even uh, even for tea or whatever. Like if you're like a big tea, like if you're a tea drinker. I'm sure you can store that powdered non-dairy creamer. In there too. But uh, exercise the same precaution when uh, store, when storing no that uh, powdered non-dairy creamer. Like uh, you can't put, the, you cannot put powdered non-dairy creamer in your open flame either. Because it's just as flammable as uh, gunpowder. Well... A little bit extra footage don't help, don't hurt anybody. <laughs>